Hi everyone, uh, I am Jesus Rodriguez or Jay Rodriguez. I am I am one of the developers of BD Armory Continued, uh, and I I made the decision of making a quick tutorial to to show how to how to build a multi-stage uh, modular missile. Yeah, I, I, I have received a lot of questions during the last uh, couple of years uh, regarding how, how 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 to build and yeah, people struggling a bit trying to build and attach a modular missile. So I, I thought that it would be interesting to create a quick tutorial explaining the, the process. Uh, so uh, let's begin then. The first thing that I'm going to I'm going to create a more stockish one uh, with stock stock. Uh, be the armory parts and then I will create a I would say a more cool one using the BD modular missile parts. I will I will put the link yeah, 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 on the video. So I'm going to begin with the maybe just a core, a very small one. This is one of the smallest right? Uh, then we need to also to to have a explosive explosive part right so I, I suggest to use this is the more stock one for BD Armory. Okay. Now I'm going to, be, as I said, I'm going to be like a, a two two stages mi missile. Uh, the first stage is going to be uh, liquid fuel. Uh, for that, I'm going to I'm going to go for a procedural tank. Okay. But you can, of course, you can use whatever tank you want. But I'm going to stick with this one because I, I love procedural parts so I'm going to go for something like this um, that's fine uh, yeah maybe a bit smaller okay uh, um, let's change the texture yeah why not now yeah, you need to attach the winds okay uh, for this I always suggest to you to use the B9 procedural parts fork, I always use that, use it. But maybe you can use as well, yeah, maybe other other wings or the stock wings. But as I said, I, I really recommend to use B9 procedural parts. So for that, I'm going to stick with one what I already have here. Let me let me, no, not this one, sorry. This is just a sub assembly that I have. Let's streamline the decoration process. Yeah, okay, perfect. Uh, actually, you can do it for. I, I, I'm going to do it from scratch, just yes, in case that you have never used B9 procedural parts before. Uh, so, in order to do this, I'm going to use the all moving one. Let's put four of them. Let's make it more. Let's make it smaller, thinner. Let's change this a bit. As you can imagine, I have been doing this thousands of times during the last few years. Uh, okay, now perfect. I think this is more than enough. Um, okay, a bit of offset. Realistic. I'm going to click here. Okay, let's ensure that. Okay, now let's let's add uh, an engine. I'm going to stick with this one. I really love this one. It's very cool. It's very powerful. I'm going to scale it down. As you can see, the TRWR is very 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 stream. I'm going to reduce it a bit. Let's put it something like five okay okay uh, given that this is going to be an air AAM missile I, um, I'm going to try to enhance as much as possible the maneuverability or the agility of the missile so I'm going to put two pairs of wings one on the front and one on the rear for that I'm going to also to make it a bit smaller I'm going to center of leaf slightly behind the center of mass and I'm going to reduce a bit the size of the wings that's good okay 
Now I'm going to also I really recommend to see how how the center of mass is going to change. So as you can see here, maybe here are we are on the limit. I would say that it's better, maybe better to to create maybe a bit of offset here. And even to move this a bit to here. And now if I move this, I think it's better. Okay. Now this looks really cool. Also, I tend to reduce a bit the authority limiter. Okay, and also here I'm going to reduce a bit. Perfect. Now I think this is the this is the second stage of the of the missile. Now I'm going to go for for the first the first stage. For the first stage, I'm going to use like a kick stage solid stage um, it's going to be a bit smaller than this the diameter maybe i can go for something like this and the length smaller and i'm going to oh sorry i, I forgot to add the, the decoupler i'm going to add a decoupler here that's good I'm going to reduce the diameter a bit. Okay. Let's change this. Something like this. And okay. I'm going to rearrange the stages here just to see what we have. Okay, I like this. I mean it's just four seconds, TWR quite high, and is it going to give me Mag 1, right? So uh, I think this is cool. Uh, what else? Okay, uh, I'm going to check again. As you can see now, we are the center of leaf is not really nice, so I'm going to add some fins, windlets here, maybe something like that. Let's reduce this a bit. That's cool. Okay, I think from an aerodynamical point of view, we are really, we are really good at this moment. Okay, what else what we have to do? Um, uh, now I'm going to go for... I'm going to add the... the modular missile experiment... Uh, the experimental part. This is the... this is this, the, this one. You can add it here, for example. Well, actually, you need to add it here, because this is going to be the second stage. This is the, this, the stage that is going to remain flying and under control. So I add it here. And as I said before, well, let's put a name for the, for this mis missile, right? Uh, let's put it name DC1. I, I, let's put this missile here. Okay. Now let's change the first of all. Let's change the the guidance. The guidance is going to be higher. B A A M. Perfect. Targeting mode radar. That's fine. And let's change the, the the range to something greater than that. The stage we say that it's going to be two stages. Um, I'm going to stick with the time between stage one. The minimum speed 200 is fine. This I'm going to increase it again. Let's put it as well like this. Drop time. I'm going to put it zero here and. For this, I'm going to go for 15 meters. Okay, that means that within the 15 meter radius, if there is a enemy vessel, it's going to detonate. And drop time zero, and that's fine. Okay, and I'm going to set the name. I'm going to put test test missile. See if I close. Now. The other thing that I have to do now is I'm going to I'm going to put the proper stage in here. So the first stage, as I said, is going to be this one, and the second stage yeah, I'm going to put here the copper and activate ending here. Okay, so these are the two stages that we have. I'm going to save now, and the next thing that we should do is we we, we need to reroute the missile and to create some at least two, two sub assemblies so we can attach them attached to the launcher vessel properly 
So what I'm going to do, I usually do the following. I'm going to, I'm going to create, as usual, I can see here, I'm going to create a ta tail and body. The tail is going to be this one. There's missile, missile tail. Then I'm going to click on reroute. I'm going to reroute here. And I'm going to create this as subassembly. I'm going to go call it test missile. We can call it head or body or whatever. Or we can put front and rear or whatever we want. And that's fine. Okay. I'm going to reroute again. Perfect. I'm going to save. Now, the, th the next thing I am going to do, I'm going to attach it. Okay, I'm going to open my mobile launcher. I'm going to remove the missile that I have here. So, this is just an example, okay, of a uh, vessel uh, launcher for, for my missile. Uh, here I have the real, the, the first decoupler, okay. Uh, this decoupler is going to be automatically triggered by BD Armory as soon as you try to fire the missile. The missile. So now what I need just need to do, uh, I'm going to, no, sorry, I'm going to use first the the body. I'm going to put it here. It's fine. And then I'm going to attach the tail. And that's fine. So uh, I think actually, let me let me let me put this again here. I'm going to make this a bit smaller just to ensure that there is no way it's going to hit. Okay, I think that's fine. And um, maybe you are you are wondering why I have. Uh, why are not attaching this to maybe to the bottom, the bottom of the the missile? And the reason is because it's the way the way the way the hierarchy of the parts. Okay, if I attach this to the bottom on the bottom of the missile, the problem is that this is going to be as soon as this uh, this part of the missile is has uh, jettison of the copper from the missile itself. Then this this part is, is is not the it's not the root part anymore. It, this was the root part, okay? And the, the and the, the the logic the module is going to try to control this part. This part it doesn't have anything, right? It doesn't have wings. It doesn't have a, a, a proof a, a proof of, of the missile. It doesn't have anything. So you need to to ensure that you are the the order of the parts are you are sticking to the to the second state, the, the state that is going to remain. And that's the reason why I'm creating like this this tower here, okay? And I am attaching it to the the second stage instead of the first one. Ma ma basically, it's a limitation of the Rally Spectrum, we or the way the uh, the the build the parts are ordered and and the hierarchy of the parts. But now, I think we are ready to go, and it's time for testing. Okay, so well, let's let's spawn uh, let's spawn something, right? I have a plane here. <coughs> okay. Okay, so now the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to open the, activate the radar, activate the, the locking radar. I have 
alpha log okay and now let's fire the missile right It's going pretty well. <laughs> I'm going to switch to the plane. Here it comes. Boom! Well, it, it, it wasn't a big explosion, right? But I think it's enough to take it down. So, okay, that's all. Um, I will create new other new videos with uh, maybe building different kind of uh, modular missiles, uh, more complex one, maybe with different guidances, uh, ballistics, uh, etc. And I hope you enjoy. And that's all. Thank you for watching.